Hello, I'm the Lightbulb Guy and in this video we will talk about improving the search option in your WordPress website. The default WordPress search is just no good, so I will show you the best two free plugins with their pros and cons so you can decide for yourself which one will be the better choice for you. But before we begin, I want to invite you to join the WP Lightbulb course where I will teach you three different techniques to double your WordPress website's revenue in seven days, no matter how you are monetizing it. The course is free, but many people would actually charge you for that information. So don't think twice, go to wplightbulb.com slash course to start. So the first plugin is called Relevancy. The first thing you need to do after installing and activating the plugin is to build the index. To do that, just go to settings, relevancy and click on build the index. The bigger the website, the more time it will take. Then you can customize the search. And first thing is the operator of search. Operator or will return posts where at least one of the search terms appears, while end will return results which contains all words. So in most cases, it's the better choice. Also by default, when you choose the end search operator and there is no results, the plugin will fall back to the or search operator. To disable this, click here. Then choose the default order of results. By relevance is recommended. Fuzzy matching is an awesome option which you may like. Here is an example of it. If you search for the word site, it will also bring you results containing the word website. It basically searches for words which begins or ends with the word you have written. You can choose three different options, to disable it, to enable it only when there are no results for the search or to be always enabled. You can also limit the search results to increase the speed of the process. And then you can customize the weight. This really depends on the structure of your website, but in most cases the title should have the most weight and the other components just a little bit. If you type zero, you can completely exclude a specific component. The relevancy plugin also allows you to store logs of what your visitors are searching for, which is awesome. That way you can get to know your audience better. Below that you can restrict search from specific categories, tags, posts or pages. This plugin also can create custom excerpts highlighting the hits in searches. To be honest, I've never used this feature so I can't tell you if it's good or not. Below that you can change which post types and taxonyms to be indexed. Also, you can enable the short code content indexing, your visitors can search for outers and even custom fields. You can also set synonyms for better results and configure stop words like A, D, which may be the reason for no relative results. So this plugin is a monster. It has so many features, but it doesn't change the look of your search box or results in any way. To see what people are searching for if you have enabled the logs, go to user searches from the dashboard. The second plugin is called Swift Type. This is a third party service which requires free registration and everything is stored at their servers which is great for bigger websites because you can save server resources. So create a free Swift Type account and then go to account and there you will find the API key. Copy and paste it in the plugin. Then just create a new search engine and click synchronize with Swift Type. The plugin will start indexing your website. And when it's done, you have successfully installed Swift Type on your blog. Just be aware that it might take a few minutes before the search bar actually starts functioning properly. One nice feature that you get with this plugin is the keyword suggestion. When you start typing, it will show you suggestions below, just as Google do. So let's go to Swift Type account and see the features there. When you click on rankings, you can type a specific search and rearrange the results with simple drag and drop. You can also add a new result. Then in the analytics tab, you can see what people are searching for on your website with a chart. So pretty much these are the two plugins. Relevancy has a lot more options, but it is stored on your servers and might slow your website a bit. Swift Type has the feature to reorder your results, which is nice, but it can't show content from short codes, for example. So they both have pros and cons. Which one is better for you? Tell me in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Also go to wplightbulb.com course to learn how to double the revenue of your website in 7 days. 
Currently the course is free so check it out, click here.